every time. Every time I do the five seconds, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show, everybody. I'm Steve Carvino. <laughs> and this is uh, oh, your, your lunch hour shit show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm already laughing because. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Because today we're like, you're like, well, what are we gonna talk about? I don't have anything to talk about. And I, in my head, I'm like, oh, I got, I got things. I got things. And then while we were on our way here. Uh -huh. We fought in the car, y'all. A thing came. A thing came. And, Mo multiple and, things. Dude, t so here's, here's what happens. Uh, um, she goes, she goes, do we have time to stop so I can get water? I need water. And I go, I go, well, what I do, I usually finish my coffee when we get there. And then I drink the water here at the office. Yes. And an episode previously, you've said, hey, Renee, just get the water fountain, like be conscious. And I've explained to you, I am pregnant. I need a lot of water. Don't pull the pregnancy card no, already. No, it's true. I, I, nobody's I saying. I had really bad dizzy spells last week because I was probably oh a little dehydrated. Oh my God, dude, you cannot and do so, this shit, dude. Yes, I need that lots is, of water. so shitty. Uh, uh, do we, can we remember that I'm pregnant? Look, no, I have nobody's... a big old bottle of water under the table so that I can refill my cup. Cause, no, cause I... you keep talking and talking no, and talking finish. and I need more water. Let me finish saying what I was saying. Okay, finish what you were saying. By the way, edit out the pregnancy card because I'm not gonna win. <laughs> I'm not gonna win if you, ha if you pull the pregnancy card. So then you go, so I go, well, you can just get water, put it in your Yeti, right? Yes. They have a huge bottle of water here at the office. And then you go, oh no, I, I, you know, I need more water than that. I, I just, I, cause I don't want to get up and go get water. Yeah, so then and then you so go, we don't have to stop on the way home. I go and I, I bring bottles of water, let, so I always have water. You're not, we're not even. That, what you're talking about is not what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so then. Hang on, let me drink my water. So, <laughs> so then, you just made yourself laugh. You're, 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 you are your biggest fan. I'm gonna chug so much water in this episode just <laughs> you, to prove a point. You are your biggest fan. <laughs> So anyway, she goes, she goes, well, can you stop and get water? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, right? Because I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to say, hey, I'm happy to go get you more water, right? And, and I go, okay, yeah, I'll stop and get water. So then, right before we exit, she goes, you're going to stop and get water? And I'm like, yes, no, yes. No, that is not how it went down. Yes. You said... Text producer Rick that we are running early. Right. And I said, yes, but remember, we have to stop and get water. And you're like, I know, you already told me. You don't have to tell no, me that's again. That's not what happened. So then I yes, go, I did, I go, I go, go ahead and text Rick, let him know we're gonna be a little early. And then you go, Well, you're gonna stop and get water? And I go, I, I go, yes, right? Yes. I didn't even say it like that. Yes, I you said, did. remember, I gotta stop and get water. It, it's in the pitch. No, it really, really, we're on the podcast, you're smiling. Are you gonna stop and get water? <laughs> flowing your hair. No, no, in the car, you're like, why are you gonna stop and get water? And I go, I go, yes, Renee, I go, I'm gonna stop and get water. And then she goes, why are you being mean to me? You're being mean to me. And I'm like, do you not realize that you're insulting my intelligence? You asked me to get water. I told you, yes, I am going to get water. And the fact that you think that I'm gonna say F it, I'm afraid of you. Do you really think <laughs> I'm not gonna get your water? Mama wants water. Steve, Mama you need can't reminders get, sometimes. Mama can't go get water from. It was from, just a friendly reminder. Mama hey, can't have peasant water. water. <laughs> Mama can't have peasant water. She needs her water. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get her water. And then she, well, you're gonna stop and get the water? I'm like, yes. So then. It has so, nothing to do with peasant water. It is that I have to be like, nobody, these days I got a big old bag and it's got three snacks. It's has, got two juices. It's got four bottles of water because you are constantly on the go. And no, so this, I just have to have it all with me this, or things it, go it very bad very this quickly. Noth what we're talking about right now has nothing to do with what you're talking about. Of course I want you to have snacks. Of course I want you to have water. Of so then course, what does it have to do with? It has to do with the fact that you asked me to do something. Uh -huh. I said, yes, it, I will do it. Okay. I'm taking care of it. And then you question. No, see. The, this, I am not, you Every man goes through this. No. Every this man goes through you. this because it's not about the water. This is your crazy brain. No. It was not questioning. It was a reminder. So, so A then, reminder is not the same thing as questioning. That's totally a man brain thing. Okay, so then when, right I, when I go, when I go, yes, Renee, I'm going to get you water. And then you're being mean to me. And it's like, nobody's being mean to you. 
I am frustrated because you've already asked oh, me. Oh no, to you had already snapped at me in the car oh, for a couple goodness, other dude. things. I can't so remember you what go, it was. You go, no. I, I, I was frustrated with you because you already asked me to get water. I already put it in the brain. I'm gonna stop and get mama her fancy water in a bottle. My fancy okay. water, it's the 7-Eleven buy one, get one free. It is not fancy water. <laughs> What's wrong with the water here? <laughs> What's wrong with the water here is that I need a bottle under so the table to like water. refill. Now you have to talk about- It has nothing to do about... with what's wrong with the water. Then we have to stop. I have to go to the water fountain. I now have to we're talking about water. Cup. I don't like care thing. about the water. I am, uh, what bothers me the most <laughs> is that you, you like, you, are you gonna do this? 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 I'm like, yes, dude, I heard you. I very clearly heard you I ask was, me it was to a get reminder. you. So then, okay. So you then, act like I nagged you five times so in the then car. I, go, I just said it at the no, beginning of the drive. Right. Oops, I forgot to pack so water. Then, Can we stop and get water? So then when I go, when I go, uh, yes, Renee, I'm going to get your water. Then it turns into, you're being mean to me. Oh my God, nobody's being mean. Why are we arguing about water? It's a basic human necessity. It's not about water. This conversation is not about water. It's the fact that you asked me to do something and I'm going to do it for you. I okay. don't need you to then question whether I'm going to stop and get you water. So you water. never need reminders, ever. Huh? You ne It was not a question, when it was I, a reminder. So you're saying now for the rest of our relationship, you never you need know, reminders. You know when it, the reminders needed? When? When I do that loop and I turn to pull into this parking lot and you go, hey, ask for water. And then I'll go, oh crap, I completely forgot, okay. you're right. No more reminders. Not, not before. No more reminders. I think that every guy in this room and Rick at home understands what I'm saying. Okay, then why when you have to do morning press and you were in a hotel and you have to set an alarm, I also have to set my alarm for the same time. And do you ever have to put yours on? I always wake up. I, I'm gonna wake up before but the alarm guy. Well, then why do I have to set my alarm? It was like, Renee, set your alarm too. Yes. So you do need reminders. No, I you do, do not. You no, do need I am, reminders. I am a preparer, right? I prepare for every option of failure, right? So I set my alarm. I ask you to set your alarm, right? Uh -huh. But I usually wake up before my alarm and before your alarm. But it's just a little safety net for me because you know, I don't miss press. I don't miss appointments. Okay. I don't I am I am Johnny on the spot. Okay. If I say then I'm no gonna more do something, no more reminders for Mr. Perfect Trevino. That would be fantastic. You got it. You got that it. That would be fantastic. Again. You got it. Again, it's it's like when when we talk about like you like she'll get mad at you'll get mad at me. <clears throat> And, and you'll get mad at me for things I haven't done yet. Oh, not anymore. We've talked about that. I haven't that. even done we've it been, yet. We've been together long enough that now, right? I, now I'll just let you screw up. Like and, some, then, like, and then point at you after the fact. No, when I screw up, I'm all about you going, hey, you screwed up. You did this. You did that. But I'll have somebody come over, you know, pop in, and I'll start having drinks. And all of a sudden, she's like, hey, you know, you know that you're, gonna, you're not going to wake up in the morning. I'm, I, have I not woken up? Let me not wake up. When I not wake up, then you are, or if I have a history of not waking up, then you go, hey, the last two times you pulled this, you didn't wake up. Okay. You didn't take care of your business. Daddy always takes Fair care of his enough. business. Fair enough. I won't ask for water anymore, you guys. It has nothing to do with water. I'm happy to stop and get you water. Okay. I'm happy to make okay. that extra stop to get you unnecessary water. This just seems, this just seems like a lot of anger um, over anger. a water break. That's not fair. It's not <laughs> anger. It has not, it's, it's because it happens all the time with you where you're, where you're like, wow, do this. I'm like, I heard you. I'm on it. Okay. It will happen. But no, Renee's got, uh, <laughs> don't forget. I want my water. I heard you. Okay. And I love you. And when I ask you to do something, I just leave it there because I'm not allowed to question you because I'll get in trouble and I'll be mean to you. So anyway, this takes me to my next topic. So last <laughs> night, dude, I knew right. it. I, I knew it. Trey knew it. Knew what? Oh, so first of all, my friend Roger Craig is coming to play Fry High Country Store. Uh -huh. I'm excited about it. I haven't seen Roger in forever. Yeah. I'm a fan and a friend. And I'm like, oh, he's coming Wednesday, perfect. I finally get to go to one of his shows because normally he's touring, I'm touring, we don't get to catch up with each other. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm afraid to ask my wife to go to Roger's show. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. 
It's because I'm approaching it wrong. I got to call it guys night. <laughs> I got to call it daycare dad's night. So I go, I go, hey, I go, I'm going to go, uh, you know, two days ago, because I'm not allowed to spring things on her. I said, hey, uh, Roger's going to be here Wednesday. The I, day before I, the I, event. You told me on Tuesday it was, it was Wednesday. It was the day before, before the event, yeah. And I go, hey, I would like to make um, Roger's show. But then I'm like, and I, know, and I was like, you know what? I go, I, I, go, I know her, and, and it's not going to go smooth. It's not gonna go smooth. What do you mean it's not gonna go smooth? Because with how did last with, night not with, go smooth? With Captain Evil, there's always a yes and. Okay. So, I uh, f- first of all, I I leave, I get there, and now she's talking about. She's asking me like, uh, what were you asking me about? Uh, well, no, because message. you left. We were talking about stuff, but you were like preoccupied with other things. So conversations that needed to be had were not had. We're trying no, to no, figure no, out this weekend. No, no, but they didn't need to be had. That's what I'm trying to say is that 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 of course. So I'm leaving and and I'm picking up a friend in the neighborhood to go with me. Yeah. And, and she's calling me and she's like, uh, oh, um, uh, what were we saying? Uh, about this weekend. I asked you what our plans were for this weekend. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, uh, what are the plans for this weekend? I'm like, really, right now? Like, right now? No, I asked you before so you left the started. house and you never the made a decision. The pain already started. No, no, the, no, no. Did we need to this talk about... This was a conversation. Well, yeah, because I needed to coordinate with my mom. My birthday is coming up, and it is the same day as my grandmother's birthday, and she's going to be but, 86. But and so I want to spend time with her, and we were trying to coordinate. Are my folks going to come up this weekend? But why does my opinion... Or am opinion, I going to go down there this weekend? Why does my opinion all of a sudden matter? Because, because you, you're no, going to do what you want to do anyway. No, because you have friends in town. You've got a writer in town to help you with the special that you're going to film I'm in like going two to weeks. Do, I'm going to do. So I don't want to take you out of pocket if you need to be here. And I'm trying to coordinate with you what works best for your schedule. But as, see, but as soon as I left, as soon as I left, hey, uh, we haven't had a chance to talk about this weekend. And I'm like, Because I needed to call my mom so she can make plans. If she's going to host something for grandma on Sunday and invite other people, she needs time to be able to do that. So you could have made those plans and said, hey. I'm trying to work around your schedule. And I tried to have this conversation with you before you left. As soon as I leave, here it comes. And then, and then, are you ready for this? Then the next thing is, hey, um, well, where's the ticket link for the new special? Are we going to sell tickets or what? I'm like, oh, yeah, let's talk about this now. Like, I've already picked up my friend. You already know I'm going to go to a oh, show. Oh, you know. And I'm like, really? No, you know we text each other constantly as stuff comes up so that we can deal with it. You're because really trying to defend yourself there right is now. No, 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 no. You <laughs> no, do that shit to that. me all the time. None You'll text me at 9 o'clock. Hey, don't forget to print this out. Hey, don't forget to send this email. Not when email. you're out with like, your girlfriends. Oh, I left breakfast this oh, week. Oh, you want to talk about that one? I was at a about, girl's you're, breakfast. You're about to find yourself in I, a bad situation. <laughs> On the podcast, do you? I wasn't even gonna bring it up because it it, it shines you in a bad light, yeah, and I love you, you so want to much. Talk about- <laughs> I love you so much that I didn't want to bring up your mistake because you're pregnant. So I didn't want to bring it up, and I was like, all right, you know what? Let's not do that one because <laughs> it was all on you. But if you want to do that one, let's okay, dale gas, let's go, let's go. We'll abandon. <laughs> Your, your, your Barry, deflection. No, finish your story. Your deflection that you just pulled no, right there was nice, story. and it's gonna bite you uh, in the no, ass okay. <laughs> because you know it. That's why you're laughing, dude. You fucking no, know it. No, I will bring it back up. You finish your story. I will. <laughs> I will give you the opportunity to finish your story. So, dude, it's always. I'm like, she makes it so painful that I don't even want to ask because I'm like, I know shit is coming. So as soon as I leave, here it comes. Well, what are we gonna do this weekend? Oh yeah, perfect. Now is the time to talk about it. Hey, what's going on with, with ticket? Which by the way, you have Rick's number, you have Jake's number, you have Tom and Liam, my manager's numbers. You can ask them. That is not my department. My department is dick jokes. That's my <laughs> department. That's my department. And I don't and, and I don't get involved with Rick's No, area. but you have been so MIA. With... We have not had very much communication. And there are things that need to way, get worked out and way, figured I out. I felt like a real dick this morning when I spoke to Rick. And uh-huh. I'm like, hey, Rick, because you put it in my brain, uh-huh. I go, hey, are we going to sell tickets to the thing? And, and Rick was like, Steve, I already spoke to Jake. It's already being handled. And I'm like, now I feel like a you. <laughs> what? Because Rick knew, knows what he needs to do. And I don't need to remind him, but because you were on my tits about it, I was like, you know what? 
If I don't, I, I better ask. Well, no, because I need and to communicate Rick, Rick, with Adrian what's what's going on so that Rick we can goes, properly Rick promote goes. it. I'm already working on the on the uh, uh, graphics for it. I didn't go, Rick. You're being mean to me, <laughs> Rick. Shut that's your me. mouth. <laughs> so anyway, so it already started, right? And then we get to the show, we get to the show, and you know how much I love you, and you know that I would do anything for you, right? Yeah. All of a sudden. I'm feeling queasy. Little green face. <laughs> Little green face emoji. Right? So then I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like, for, I will drop. No, I was just bummed because I, I was having a really good day. And I was like, okay, I'm having a good day. I'm feeling good. And then all of a sudden I got nauseous again, real but nauseous. I, you know that I will drop anything for you. Will I not? Will I not drop anything for you? Yes, if I needed you to, but I didn't need you to, and I made that clear. So then, no, you did not make it clear. <laughs> you, you said, do said, I need to come home? And I said, no. And I said, do I need to come home? Because I, I will. Said, no. Terry, I will leave. I, for my wife, who is pregnant, if she's feeling sick, and by the way, I, no, there's I, nothing I you can do about me feeling nauseous. I didn't expect you to do anything about me feeling nauseous. So why the text? See, we're getting to something here. <laughs> we're getting, we're, we're starting to figure out. Oh my god. So why the text? Why the text? Because you want to fuck with me. No. You no, want... I do yes. not. So then I passed out and you I didn't hear you didn't hear from me the rest of the night. So by the way, Trey, one of our best friends in New Braunfels, you know, we're hanging out because cause he works for Roger Craiger. Uh-huh. We're hanging out and then <laughs> here it comes, dude. Here it comes. By the way, let me, you know what? I want to read exactly what the text says so that there's no uh I sent you a text? Yes. Um, where is it? Oh, I know what I texted oh, you. Oh, and then she put, kids from next door came and rang the doorbell, so Garrett played for a bit. Oh, that's information I need while I'm out. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just letting oh, you know awesome. Garrett was playing. Awesome. Let's go ahead and let me know every detail of what's going on at the house, right? <laughs> so here it is right here. And now I'm, I'm feel, I feel queasy again. And I put, um... Do I need to come home? Of course, it's my wife. I will leave in a heartbeat. And I and, say no. And by the way, by the way, I did not drink last night for two reasons. I'm driving, number one, and number two, I have a pregnant wife at home and I need to be ready for anything. So I didn't drink, okay. So then, uh, and then here's another one right here. Please don't expose yourself to all kinds of people and take a shower as soon as you get home. Yes, you're okay. bringing germs okay. home okay to the house. That. No, there's nothing wrong with me asking you to do that. Um, and no, look, I know it's hard for you not to expose yourself to a lot of people. It's not your show. When it's your show, you have a green room to go hide in. You were going to someone else's show. People were going to see you and recognize you and come up to you and want to say hi and take pictures and shake your hand. And that's that's a hard situation to have to say, to have to like keep yourself away from. I get that. So all I was saying was be careful and please take a shower before you get in bed. But again, am I an intelligent man? Am I a smart guy? Did I not think of those things? Did I not call Cody over at Fry Height and say, hey, can you put me a table in the very back? I don't so know. That, you and I so, didn't have that conversation. Why do we have to? <laughs> you should assume, hey, my husband's intelligent. My husband knows that he has a pregnant wife at home. My husband and a knows. wife should be able to make a request to say, hey, be careful and take a shower before you get in bed. So I didn't say anything about that, but here it came. Okay, here it came. So then I no, get. No, my next text after that was love you. No, so then I get. There is an I love you there text was an after I love that. You, after I already said I love you. No, I after said After I already first. said I love you. I'm pretty you. sure I said it No, you never say it first. You never say it first. <laughs> so then, so then uh, Trey, Trey's right here, right? Trey and I are talking golf because we're trying to figure out a tea time for next week. And then all of a sudden, I get, oh. I'll send you text messages while you're playing golf, oh. don't worry. She goes, oh, tomorrow morning, can you wake up with Garrett and take him to school so that I can sleep in and get ready? Yeah, because I was sick. I, was I like, couldn't sleep. Do you hear it? I knew it. And I'm, I'm so, I'm like, I, I already didn't drink. I already didn't drink because I knew the hammer was oh, coming. No. I knew the no. time to pay, you piece of no, shit. It was How not dare a time you go to pay. out no, and enjoy it yourself? <laughs> so I'm gonna jerk. bug the shit out no. of you. I'm gonna bug the shit out of you with things that we don't need to talk about right now. I'm gonna let you know that I'm feeling queasy when I no. didn't have to and worry me. No, I was trying and to And then sleep. here comes the fucking hammer. Okay. And Trey goes, Trey goes, oh yeah. 
He goes, I'm not drinking tonight because I know Sabrina's going to wake me up first thing in the morning. And by the way, he's at work. No, he was like, listen, okay. Regardless of Trey and Sabrina's situation, I don't even, I I don't even not, want to talk the rest of the episode. I was not feeling well. I don't even want. You've talked enough, Steve Trevino. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm but done. I was not feeling well and I was trying to sleep and I could not sleep. And so all I was saying, it was not about punishment. It had nothing to do with what was going on with you. It was, hey, I, I don't need you to come home right now. I don't feel well and I can't sleep. Can you help me in the morning? That's when I need the help. It's not right now. There's nothing you can do right no. now. But you can help him pitch the in in the morning. The root of the issue is. What is the root of the issue, Steve? You missed me. <laughs> and you love me. And you don't want me doing things without you. You don't. When I do something without you, you can't handle it. No, and, and that's I'll be not honest true. With you. I can totally when you, handle when it. You do Would it have on been nice own, I, if I my husband you? said, hey, you want to go with me to see Roger? Should we get a babysitter and go together? Would that have been nice for my husband to have suggested that? Sure, that would have been nice. Can I go yeah. to your girls' night? Am I invited to your girls' night? No, but then we know it's a girls' <laughs> night. Dude, I wish there was a... I want to, on that marker board, I want to start putting my points. Because <laughs> I am freaking <laughs> killing it today. There's no fucking way you win this episode. You act There's like no was, way. You act like it was a planned guys' night. Guys don't plan You turned guys it into night. guys' night at the last but minute. But that's what people out there yes, listening. guys plan guys' no, nights. They guys have do poker not. nights. No, no, they, no. Yes, Some, they do. Poker night sometimes. Cards with the tards, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what movie? Cards. What movie? What movie? I've never heard that before. What's it from? Uh, Can't Buy Me Love. The movie. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, uh, I love that movie. So anyway, I'm not that old. I don't know it. So guys end up with a guy's night. Guys don't normally plan a guy's night. Okay. What happens is, what happens is, like, oh, hey, Terry, there's a show tonight. Want to go? Hey, man, Nate, dog, you want to go? Hey, Rick, there's a show tonight. Oh, hell yeah, man, I'll go. That sounds like a good show I want to go to. Great. We'll meet there, and then we see each other. We're like, holy shit, we're not used to being out together. And then we start drinking, and we start having a good time. And then before we know it, we're like, oh, fuck, we're all in trouble. <laughs> That's guy's night. I don't, I don't call Terry and be like, Terry, September 28th. Well, no, we have September to. September 28th. Moms, are ju- moms have to do that because they're juggling everybody else's <laughs> schedules. If they don't schedule it and put it on the calendar, it doesn't happen. <laughs> we don't have the luxury of, oh, yeah, yeah, I can make plans on a whim because my husband's got the kids. Okay, I'm glad you brought that. So why don't you have that luxury? Because we're moms. We run the show. No. Nope. We've got everyone's schedule. Even this You're morning. So no, no, no. Even You're this so morning. Arrogant. Women are so arrogant. arrogant. No. I run shit. <laughs> no. we, I, if I don't, if I'm not there, the whole thing falls apart. Even this morning. Because men are morons. You said yes, I can like, handle Garrett, but can you pack his lunch? You yes. can't pack a four-year-old's lunch. No. You don't know what goes in a four-year-old's lunch no. box. No. You don't know what that kid eats every no. day. No. That's exactly no. my point. That's why when a mom plans a trip, she's got to pre-pack all the lunches. She's got to lay no. out all the kids' clothes. No. She's got I mean, to write down it. their daily schedule. I would have done it, but I get in trouble. You get mad at me. You packed him what? He did. He doesn't eat. So oh, I'm like, you know what? That's gonna be your excuse I'm like, for everything. You have done this to you. No. You you are so controlling. You are making this a piss that, poor excuse that, that, for everything. Now when I when I want to by the way, it I have no problem packing his lunch if I'm not gonna be judged. Pardon me, I need to add more water to my do, cup. Do, <laughs> do I judge do I judge your lunches that you make for our son? I do not. I do not. So Because they're good lunches. There's nothing to judge. The what were we talking about just now? Because <laughs> I distracted you with yes. my very dramatic water pour. Yes, yes. <laughs> you do it on purpose. You turn it into, no, what I was saying was, no, I, I woke up, took Garrett to school. See or no? You did, yes. Did I complain? Oh, Terry, and here's the best part. So then last night, I get in, I'm trying to be very quiet. Oh, right? you were not. You were like clonking your boots on the floor and our, Daddy our boots. end tables Daddy are boots. glass and you slam your keys on the glass. See it was this? so see loud. This? See this? See this? It so then I, so I, I lay down and she goes, well, you got in late. <laughs> and I go, it's 1230, Renee. And you're like, Ugh. <laughs> I could hear that. <laughs> That I could hear it. <sighs> I'm huffing and puffing all night every time I roll over. It doesn't have much to do with you. As soon as I got home, why well, you're up late? When you go out, I don't care what you do. The only thing I ask you to do is please don't drink and drive because you're a drunk. <laughs> I Uber. I, I know. I but Uber. That, is that not the only thing I ask? 
The only thing I ask when you have girls' night or you go out is I'm like, hey, baby, don't drink and drive. Not because I'm afraid that you can't drive drunk. I'm afraid that if mama goes to jail, the freaking nightmare of you going to jail, Mrs. Spoiled, uh, <laughs> she won't handle a night in jail. I do. I get arrested. I go to sleep. I already know I'm not getting out till 8 a.m. I already know the routine. <laughs> I already know the routine. I don't know if that's anything to brag about. No, I, I just, I already know. Like, I laugh. I go to jail and there's people like, when are we getting out of here? I'm like, you're not, bro. Not till 8 o'clock in the morning. Not, so I do. I, I put my head down and I lay down on the little cold bench and I just sleep because I know I ain't getting out till the morning. You wouldn't know that. You'd be panicked all night. You'd be losing your mind. I'd be asking for more water. <laughs> like when you got me arrested in New Year's. Oh, so the only, th the only thing I ask is, hey, don't drink and drive. I don't bug you with mundane bullshit. I don't call you and be like, hey, what's Garrett going to have for lunch tomorrow? No, you do. You'll be like, did you send this to Adrian? Or did you send this email? Or did payroll run? Like, yes, you bug me too. You bug me too. That's not fair. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just going to let you think about what you just said. I never bug you. As a matter of fact, fellas, and yet, it's okay fact, for you to, you remind me, like, did, you, did you run payroll this week all the time? It's okay for you to question me, but it's not okay for me to you remind you? Man, you are really putting yourself in a situation here. I have to ask you if you ran payroll because you have a habit, see or no, of not paying payroll. No, that's not true. Oh my God. When was the last time payroll didn't get run? Oh my God, Renee, right now, be honest. Do you sometimes forget to do payroll? I have not forget to, forgot to run payroll. I have not. She's not answering not, the question. I can't even. She's say. not answering the question. The question that I'm asking is: Have you not once, but several times, forgot to do payroll? A long time ago. She's not answering the question. A long time ago. You're not answering the question. Yes, I have. A long time ago. Have you have you gotten in a habit of going to jail? <laughs> yes, but it's been a long time. <laughs> so, I did have a habit of going to jail. You are correct. You are correct. But what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, yes. How many times when I was out somewhere to this day do you go, don't go to jail? Oh, if I get a call from you at three in the morning, my gut instinct is Steve needs bail. Because I have created a habit. When you create a habit, then you have every right to go, hey, don't go to jail. And I don't get mad at you. I'm like, yes, ma'am, I will not go to jail. Thank you for the reminder, because I have a habit of going to jail. Okay, what I'm saying is, do you not have a habit of not paying payroll? No, See. I have not done oh it in a very God. long time. It's automatic. Huh? Well, until COVID, until I used to forget all the time, and then I said it. We to got it. Time. We got it. We got it. I used to forget all the time. We got it. I wrap this episode up. Let's go home. Go ahead and mark the board with an X. Daddy's going home. We got you. Finally, we got it. I out used of to you. forget it all the time. And then I set reminders on my phone. Every episode, I'm like, what the fuck are we going to talk about? And then you can run it automatically. <laughs> and then we, COVID happened, and we can't run it automatically anymore. But I still haven't forgotten. We're 20 minutes in. Every episode, what are we going to talk about? None of this shit was planned. <laughs> and here we are. We were going to talk about Orlando. Yes. We went to Orlando. Oh. We finally got to travel together as a family. <laughs> That's what we were going to talk about. But you were mean in the car, so I was we were both mean. in a bad mood. I was not in a bad mood. And then, then I, Terry, then I, uh, Rick, I have to talk to her like this. Baby, I to, like that. I, I'm, I'm not being mean to you. I, that's how I talk to her. Babe, babe, I'm not being mean. I'm just frustrated because I already planned to get you water. You already asked me to No, no, out. but then even after the water, I was asking you about... Oh, my God, yes, let's talk about that. I was asking you about childcare, because, Rick, we're going to film that special September 12th, right? And I told Steve, I said, I know your family's going to want to go and be there, but I've got to figure out childcare for Garrett. And then what did I so say? So who is staying with us and who is taking care of Garrett? So I'm not say? down to the wire trying to find childcare for Garrett. I bet you all three of these men, and I'm not going to make them guess, can guess what I said. I you said, said I, don't I don't care, care. which said, is not care. true. And I said, which I know is not true. I said, this is like your Then I event. followed it with, I don't give a shit. That's what I followed. 
No. Just to bring it home. Like, just no. to bring home the, I don't care. I, don't, I honestly don't give a shit. So then she goes, uh, I said, no, this is, it's, I know you don't care, but I this said, is what's going to happen. I foresee the shit show in the future. It is your show. Your family is going to want to be there to support you. You have a complicated family dynamic. You said, well, my mom is probably going to so want to like go, you're being loud. You're not being take care of Garrett. You're being aggressive. And then you said, so my dad and Sarah can come up and watch him. You really think Dora and Joe and Sarah are going to stay at the house at the same time? No, I, no, no, that is not happening. No, I said, I said, there's my mom, there's my dad and Sarah, there is my sister, who I love so much because she understands me and we get along. I love you, Victoria. And I said, Victoria will be there if I need her to be there. I go, or your parents. I don't, or, or, también, también. I said, we can hire somebody. I go, I don't care. But obviously, there is a lot to juggle between who is sleeping at the house and who is going to the show to support Steve and who's going to watch our fi almost five-year-old. And all I was saying is let's come up with a plan and it's your family and it's a complicated dynamic. And all I'm saying so is... So you take the lead on this one and let me know what all, I need to do for childcare. That's such bullshit, dude. Because all I'm saying is... All you were saying is, oh, we'll figure it out. Which yes, means Renee we will. will be at the last minute trying to find a sitter. No, we will figure it out, number one. And number <clears throat> number two, the only way, the only way that we will be happy is if you plan it. That's the only way. No, that so is not So that's why no. I'm like, I don't care, We man. will be happy if Do there is a want. plan and I am not having to scramble at which, the last minute to sort way, it out. Which, by the way. That will make me which, happy. Which, by the way. Daddy Raymond and Mama Mia have not had the opportunity to come to our house very often, and we haven't seen them a lot. So I was like, hey, if you want to bring your parents, that's fine too. Because I don't care. Let's go on the record. I No, because then it turns care. into it was the filming of your special, and my family got to be there and not yours. Then it turns into that too. So I don't want to do it that either. That's why I'm saying you take never, the lead on this one so never, that my hands are clean. It never turns into that. It never turns into that if we've made a decision. Now, it turns into that when Great. You, so you, you may so let's make a decision so we're not doing do, it at the last minute. Little, That's, that would make me so you happy. You do your little moves and my then little you get upset. Moves. Oh, you have moves. You have little my moves. Little move. what, what little move would I pull? I'm just trying to find childcare. For example, um, texting me unmundane bullshit while well, that's a move. That was a total move. No, I I'm was queasy. You know, Garrett was really excited. Total move. You miss me, and you love me. Not right now. And I don't you miss don't, you. And you don't. I didn't want to be sitting across from you right now. With your, with your kimono. <laughs> I was waiting, dude. No, do you know that I packed an extra pair of earrings today because I was like, I couldn't decide when we left the house. I was like, which pair of earrings is Steve gonna shit on less? Those are nice. Thank you. Thank you you very look beautiful much. as ever. Thank you. And we showed everybody the jars on my Instagram. And everyone thought the jars in the pantry, they thought the jars were very pretty. I got a lot of support and love for my jars. Actually, what they said was, one, a couple girls actually said, oh no, but now you need chalk labels on your jars. And I was like, no, that will drive Steve effing nuts. There's no way Steve's gonna have labels on the jars. Again, again, <clears throat> to go back to the topic, the, the real topic, I have never denied that it doesn't look pretty. If you want it to look pretty, make it look pretty. What I, the point of what I was saying is, you've just created more work for the both of us. No, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything to keep up with that. No, one woman even sent me, she has a sign on her pantry door that says, put things back where they go or else. <laughs> And then what, I, what I find really funny is that, <clears throat> that all these women on the comments were like, I love it, and I, oh, now I need jars. We're ruining other people's <laughs> lives. We're no, ruining my favorite, other people's my lives. My favorite was, remember at the River Rock house, I wanted to get like pretty pantry doors because we had two doors. And so one girl sent me, and I love it. She's like, oh, if my pantry looked that clean and pretty, I would totally have one of those pretty pantry doors with the window in it. So you can see it all. <laughs> Well, ruining people's lives. So what I'm asking is, can we get a new pantry door? And not only that, dude. The fact, the fact that you, uh, here's what I've discovered. Here's what I've discovered. Right. Women, all you women know that you're fucking nuts. 
So then when they see you acting nuts, they're like, <laughs> yes, it's not just me. I'm not the only crazy one. Instead of going, oh my God, I'm watching what Renee's Wait, doing. what is crazy about having an organized pantry? Like, stop right there. What is crazy about having an organized no, pantry? No, it's not about, I, I'm all about organization. You know that. Okay. My garage is organized. I'm all about yeah, organization. Yeah, you bought shelves for your garage. You bought hooks to hang your stuff. You put in a shelf. How is that any different than me wanting an organized pantry? No. Since you brought it up. No, everything that I do is functional. And it doesn't create more work for me. Had I taken a bin to put my chainsaw in, covered that bin, and then put chainsaw on it, oh, no. that's, no, I don't need to do that. No, chainsaw in a bin. I don't. But lots of people put their cereal in a container so it doesn't go stale. This is not like some novel new idea. Our relationship is going stale. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just had to say something. Um, no, but it, the, the women watch what you do. Oh, and then, and then again, dude, everybody, well, she's pregnant. Leave her alone. She, I, I'm nesting. God, I'm organizing and nesting. Dude, yes, there's more organizing pregnant. and nesting to come. I want to be pregnant. If I was pregnant, the you shit I would not. get away with. No, you don't. The shit I would get away with? You don't want to be pregnant, dude. No, of course it's not. It's, it's hard work growing a human. Well, it's been tough, It's very right? hard work. This one has been a lot harder than Garrett. Yeah. My energy level is is tanking oh, God, much was, quicker than I thought it would. I was just saying, so the other day... Three days ago, two days ago, Renee was like non-existent. Zombie. Zombie. And I get so mad at you, too, because she's like, oh, I, I got to order groceries. And she's like, well, no, first she goes, I'm exhausted. I don't feel well. And I go, baby, sleep. Sleep. Right? Just sleep. Oh, no. I, I got to fill out this form. I go, no, you don't. You don't have to fill out that form. Just sleep. No, I have to. I have to fill out this form. And I'm like, baby, just sleep. No, and then I also have to order groceries. No, the fuck you don't. You don't have to do any of those things. Just go to sleep. Just go. So then I stomp out, and again, you're being mean to me. And I'm like, you don't, you're doing it to yourself. You didn't have to do any of that. So then she, dude, she is, poor girl, she's out. She falls asleep, and I don't see her the entire day. And I end up getting Garrett's favorite, Panda Express. Yes. Which, by the way, I'm like, hey, I'm getting Panda Express. You want anything? And she's like, get the family meal. Oh, okay, yes, boss. Yes, let me go ahead and get. Well, no, because it's meal. cheaper, and you don't know they offer a family meal. You would have gone and ordered us three individual meals, and it would have been more expensive. And how much of that food did we throw away? Oh my god. Well, no, Garrett took it for lunch the next day, because Garrett loves it. Garrett would have eaten it three days, it, but we, I was like, still, it was starting to look a little sketch. I couldn't let him eat it again. A lot. We still threw away. Threw up a lot. Yeah. If we had um, eaten it another day, we would have. Yes. So <laughs> she's completely done. Poor girl, she's asleep, and I feel bad. I'm like, man, I, I hate when I see my wife not feeling well. Uh, you know that. It yeah. hurts me. It hurts me. And I try to do whatever I can to make you comfortable and make you happy. But then there was just this moment of silence all day. I didn't get text messages. No reminders. No reminders. <laughs> Nobody was yelling at me. Me and Garrett were doing our thing. And it was just a moment of just peace. Just, it was, you know, and I, but, but yet I, I'm conflicted because I'm like, oh man, my baby's not feeling good. My wife's not doing good. My wife's not feeling good. I just want her to be her and I want her to feel better. And then the next day, holy shit, dude, she shot out of a cannon and she's back. And I was like, oh man, I, I didn't realize I missed this. I didn't miss, like, then it was like, what are we going to do? And what are we going to do? And I got projects. And what, we, what about this? And what about that? And we need to do this. And I need to do that. I'm going to clean up the house. And I got to straighten up. And I got to do this. And I got to do that. I'm going to make juice. I'm going to make juice. And she's like, make it. I'm just like, oh my God, dude. Can we find oh somewhere in the middle? Can we find somewhere between sick Renee and normal Renee? Well, that's what I mean. I woke up and I was feeling so good. I was like, I got to get all this stuff done to make up for all the stuff I didn't do the day before because I was a oh, zombie. And then, and then again, dude, she's like, hey, what about piano lessons? And I'm like, what is this? What piano lessons? Uh, can you find a piano tuner? We need a piano tuner because our piano's not tuned. And I'm no, like, I didn't say can you find a piano on? tuner. I said I found a piano tuner. Oh, yeah, she was already talked to a piano tuner. So I call her, I go, I go, where's all this coming from? Well, I think he should have lessons. And I talked to a piano tuner and I called the music school and can you call can you call Randy's uh, fiddle player and maybe his fiddle player can and I'm like whoa whoa where did all this come from I'm just trying to do things while and while and when I have the energy to 
And I feel like getting Garrett all set up and all his schedule set before the baby comes is important. That's part of it. All I'm saying is I'm conflicted when you're sick. <laughs> but, it, but it's like we talk about... We, we, no, you know what it is? It's not you're conflicted. It's that you feel like you can't fully enjoy and take advantage of the peace and the silence when I'm oh, sick. Oh, dude, it's not. Like, I'm like, oh my... God. And which, by the way, we, we talk about that with our son. You know, our son is almost five. And when I tell you the kid does not stop moving, I mean, he, he doesn't sit down. And, you know, we really try to to limit video games and we, we limit TV. So we're, he, he doesn't, dude, he's jumping on the couch. He's jumping over the island bar. He's going under the table and check me out. I'm a ninja. And then dad lets He wrestle. fell down the stairs. Oh, dude. But he, oh, no, we'll get to that. But, I wasn't there, dude. but. Go. So he's like, you know, dad lets wrestle. And, and it's non, and I love it. I love my son and I love his energy. and. I try to answer every question. Oh my God, he has, question. right? And I love him so much. And, but sometimes I'm like, hey, dude, can I just squeeze you? Like, can we just cuddle? I just want to squeeze you, man. Like, I just want you to sit on my lap and I just want to hold my son. But when he's not sick, but when he's sick, he, like, he's like, dad, hold me. And I'm, yeah. it's, it's such a selfish thing for me. I'm like, oh, I kind of like this. <laughs> my son is sick, but at least he's like, I get to hold my son because I know he's not going to be five forever, right? And he's yeah. growing so fast. So when he's sick, it's like the same thing with you. It's like, when she's sick, I don't want her to be sick, but God, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. It's so conflicting. <laughs> okay, what were we talking about? About Garrett falling, oh, down, falling the down the stairs. For the record, it was not on my watch. I was not no, in the dude. house. Because he's always doing moves. Dad, did you see that move? Dad, did you see that move? Right? Like, he'll jump up and do, like, something silly. Did you see that move? Oh, Dad, did you? right? And or he'll, like, he'll go down the steps, and he'll hang on to the railing, and he'll, like, try to, like, do something. Right? <laughs> so I'm on, I'm on, I sit in my talking chair. I have a talking chair where I like to sit You're, like, on a podcast or something, aren't you? You're doing, like, a Zoom video thing? No, or... I was talking, uh, oh. uh about the special that we're going to film with Jake or somebody. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and, and in front of me is five steps. That's all you see is five steps coming down. And I just see, yeah, dude, all I, he just flies. He just flies. Like, holy crap. And luckily, and, and you know. Our thank, steps are carpeted. Well, no, he, he missed every step. <laughs> he missed every step, but thank God he's a Trevino and he's athletic. And he was able to like catch himself and without not breaking his, a wrist, not hit his fist, and he rolled over. And the best part is, he just looked at himself like, "Everything good?" <laughs> like, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" So I hang up the phone and I run over there. And as soon as I run over there, he starts crying, right? Because he's like, he panicked. The panic well, We were all scared, yeah. right? He got scared. I go, "Kurt, what were you doing?" I was trying to do a move. <laughs> And I'm like, well, it's a pretty badass move, dude. You like, <laughs> you flew five steps. But it was like, oh my God, it was so. And then he had a little bruise. Yeah. Right. And he's still, he's still so sweet. He's still a little boy. Dad, kiss it. Right. Mommy, kiss it. Yeah. Like, please kiss it. Right. Which, by the way, remember? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. It made me think of it. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, don't talk about that in your kid on the podcast. <laughs> no, dude. Gary gets hit in the crotch. <laughs> And he goes to her and goes, Mom, kiss it. And I was like, buddy. And me and Renee just looked at each other. Like, I think you're going to say something. And Renee's like, that it's inappropriate to kiss there. And I'm like, trust me. She follows that rule. She follows that rule. But it was so fun. I don't know how we ended up here. I don't know. I don't know how we ended up here. I don't no, we didn't even talk about Orlando. No, we should. We should because yeah. I don't want it to pass us by. And, and, and people were asking about it because this is the first time. We, we traveled so much as a family. And yes. We, and, and we love it. And yes. we love being together. And we love traveling together. And we love seeing whichever city we go to. Yeah. Right? I mean, but it's even, weird now because so much stuff is shut down. And... Everything's shut down. I mean. But I it was remember... getting to the point where I was like, I'm, I'm getting very pregnant. Right. And I don't know, like we were looking at the calendar moving forward, and I don't know how many places we're gonna go to. And, and I had, I did um, Tampa, and I flew to Tampa, and I have to be honest, man, I felt fine 
at the airport. Yeah. You know, you have to wear your mask. Um, when you walk on the plane, uh, at least for American Airlines, they hand you hand sanitizer. And they a hand, wipe to wipe down your you seat. They hand you a wipe to wipe. So I, I felt safe. And then, and then you go, well, what, we, and we, we, did, we really were already planning when we booked Orlando to go see Disney World. Yeah. So we were like, hey, wh- so what are we doing? I go, it's your call. You're the pregnant woman. What do you want to do? And you go, let's go. And I go, if we go, we're, you'll, we'll never have another opportunity to go to Disney at half capacity. Right, because the park is open, but you have right. to have a reservation. They're limiting the number of people. And I had called Lou, my friend Lou Ramirez, who lives in Jacksonville, and I was like, hey, dude, I know you guys do Disney. He goes, go. There's nobody there. He goes, you will never be in Disney yeah. like that again. He goes, and it was very safe, which it was. I mean... I felt very comfortable. I mean, there was hand sanitizer at the beginning of the ride, while you're at the beginning of the line, while you were in line. There was another station. You have to pay for hand sanitizer before you get on the ride. Do you want the VIP hand sanitizer or do you want the regular? (laughs) (laughs) No, but there was hand sanitizer everywhere. everywhere. There was always every time I went into a restroom, there was an attendant in there. I don't know about the men's, but every time I went in there, there was an attendant in there, like cleaning. Well, and, and and we have done Disneyland, and then we did Disney World when he was very little. And before, there's this panic. There's this, like, you know, you're in droves of people, and everybody's trying. You know, like, you feel like, you feel like trying you're... Trying to get to the first ride. Yeah, you feel like you're in L.A. traffic, right? You're like, oh, man, I got, we got to get through this. And we got... So, but this time, we want, like, nobody was on our tram. Yeah. Nobody was on our boat. Yeah. To, to go to and from the parking lot. You walked in the park and everything was available to you, and there wasn't five, a ten dump. minute waits for lines. It the was the longest amazing. wait was fifteen minutes, and we rode every single ride. Yeah. And, and by the way, Garrett, <laughs> Garrett was like, "These are baby rides." <laughs> like we would do some of the smaller stuff. It's a baby ride, you know. I don't, that's a baby ride. I'm not a baby. I'm not. I'm, and then we'd get on a roller coaster, and, and I'd be like, "Hey, that was a really cool roller coaster. We did the Seven Dwarfs." Uh-huh. Roller coaster, and I'm like, that was cool, right? He said, it was all right. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, but it was a ba- I had my hands up. It was a baby ride, right? So the next day we go to Universal Islands of Adventure, and he's like, yeah, let's ride some rides. <laughs> we get on the, the Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park ride. Right? I'm scared. I'm scared. Your I'm like, what's up, tough was, guy? Like, traumatized what's up, tough guy? Ride. Uh, not a baby ride, huh, buddy? <laughs> I don't want to do that ride again. <laughs> I was like, what's up, tough guy? Uh, but the experience was great. Yes. And more importantly, I completely felt safe. Yes, I felt very comfortable at Disney. So before you walk in, the, at, at, in the line, you, there's hand sanitizer, and then there's hand sanitizer throughout the line. Yeah. And then before you get on the ride, there's a dude spraying down the ride, and then you get on it, and it's every other seat. So they don't even pack the ride. Yeah. So it's every other seat. We sat down. You you know you were able to do the ride. Then as soon as you got off the ride, more a, hand sanitizer. Again, more hand sanitizer, and then we did um, for lunch. Yeah, we were able to get a lunch reservation. You know, just we a few days ahead of time, which isn't at, typical. What was it called? Um, Be our guest. Be our the guest. Beauty and the Beast Castle. I, and I, I love that now I can embarrass him. Uh-huh. You know, because I kept going. She'll never love me. <laughs> she'll never love me. And the, way, the waitress, dude, came the waitress the would come by and I'd go, she ne- she'll never love me. <laughs> right? And Garrett would be like, Dad, like, why do you got to do that? <laughs> right? And then I'm singing, be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Right? And he's just like, he's like, bro, like, Dad. But the waitstaff is loving oh, it. Oh, the waitstaff. The waitstaff's like, dude, that guy's hilarious, man. And, and, and like, people are like staring at me. And I'm like, she'll never love me. Right? But and, and so then the beast comes out, and the place is beautiful. Yes, yeah, the like, castle. And the food was fantastic, which yeah. we've had bad food experiences at Disney. Yes, you we know, have. Where we've gotten really awful to, burgers oh, or like something, right? Horrible yeah. burgers, and, and I'm just like, this is Disney. Like, but I think it's a different game when you have a reservation. It's also a different game when the freaking price is through oh, yeah. the freaking roof. Well, there's roof. that, like, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Had, I had so much compassion. And I just, I always think of others, and I, I just think, man, we're a family of three. Renee and I do well, and it hurt me. Like, you, you look at the tab and you go, oh, man. How does like, a family of five do it? How does like, a family of a working class 
family yeah. of five. And then, you know, the, the system, you know, there's got to be a way that everybody can enjoy that. You know what I mean? But it was yeah. like, man, I'm thinking, okay, we got a daughter coming. We're going to add to this bill. And that's just two kids. Yeah. My sister has three kids. I can't imagine a family of five being able to experience what we experienced because it's so expensive. Yeah. Now, the food was fantastic. All the little dessert they brought out, it was made out of white chocolate, and it was a chip cup, like the little teacup from Beauty and the Beast. And they brought out edible paints and a paintbrush, and Garrett got to paint his little chip cup and eat the dessert. It was super well, cool. And then he was so nervous about it. He's like, is this edible? Is this, can I eat this? Can I eat this paint? I'm like, yeah, dude, it's going to ruin you. But yeah, you can. it's also going to paint your insides. But it is edible. Don't forget when your poop is blue. Yeah, are you supposed to eat it? Probably not. But somebody has said that we can't. So we should eat it. But it was, and then the beast would come out. Yeah. And it was funny because, uh, you know, Garrett is such a, a, a realist, right? Garrett's like, that's just a dude in a costume, right? And it's like, well, bro, like we're at Disney, enjoy it. So then uh, one of the ladies grabs us and she goes, stand right here, stand right here, right? And the beast comes out, and I mean, he's. Eight, he's a big old costume. Foot, yeah. Foot. I mean, he's huge. I mean, the tail itself was probably like. And what, it's really impressive. I mean, it's impressive. I mean, you're standing there, and you're like, so they, and Garrett's got this, like. And, and finally, I'm like, thanks, dude. Like, <laughs> thank you for enjoying. <laughs> for making you know. us feel like our money was yeah. worth it. <laughs> but, but, but then it was cool because you get to walk in one room, and they have the rows. Yes. And the paintings. You yeah, know, and all uh, scratched, all like scratched, the beast like went the through movie. there and scratched everything. You know, so that was cool that we got to see that, and Garrett thought that was, you know, yeah. uh, pretty cool. I just love, like, he's a good kid. So it makes me happy that we're able to take a good kid there, you know. Yeah. But I just I was laughing because it, it just felt like a little drunk at the end, right? Like, I had this little drunkie, you know, because at the end, he's in his car seat, like, I love you guys. And, <laughs> Thank you so much for taking me to Disney. That was the best day of my life. <laughs> and he's got like he's got like ice cream. His face is dirty, like just like a little drunk, right? Like a little drunk, and he's like, "Thank you guys. You're probably gonna have to carry me to bed when I get home." Like I just passed out, and it was just the coolest moment for me. Yeah. You know, to be able to. We weren't even completely out of the park, and he was gone. When you get kids, man, you start noticing stuff, dude. And when I'm like. Why is there a 45-year-old man here by himself wearing Mickey Mouse ears waiting in line to ride Dumbo? How are you? Where's your family? Where are, you, where are your kids? What are you doing here? Something is wrong with that picture. Dude, there was 60-year-old men in line with us to ride Peter Pan. And I'm thinking, okay, well... You know, maybe it's Grandpa, and he's wait, he's holding the line. No, dude, he's there by himself with face paint. 60 years old, dude, face paint, Mickey ears. And I'm like, what is happening that this is okay? It's not okay. There is no way in a million years that I go to Disney by myself. Dude, it freaked me out. Never say never, Steve Trevino. <laughs> <laughs> but it tr it freaked me out, and it bothered me. Like, you know what I mean? Where I'm just like, what What are you doing? And even if you're a huge Disney fan, and you're 60, and you don't have a family, you should know it is inappropriate for me to go to Disney with my ears on. Like... <laughs> Gym shorts, no underwear? I mean, come on, guy. Are you come were on, looking? Guy. No, I, was no, no. I didn't notice that. I'm not sure how you noticed know. that. No, but it, it was it was it was definitely <clears throat> really uncomfortable. And it, it bothered me. That you know? part of it. And yeah. don't get me wrong, hey man, you have a right to love and do whatever you want, man. As long as it's not illegal, right? Yeah. As long as it doesn't affect my family. So if you want to go to Disney and you're 60, I'm not saying you can't go. I'm just saying that. And if you're gonna go, go now while the rides yeah. are only ten minute wait. <laughs> to me, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. He's sixty years old, dude, on the Dumbo ride. You're on Dumbo, guy. You're sixty. I love the fact that even with our masks on, me and you made eye contact. 
Because you know the you know because you car- have to wear a mask the whole time. Around yeah, the, the whole party. time. But yeah. you know that car ride that has the rail and it just kind of bumps you through. In front of me was one of those, and he was decked out in Hello Kitty. His whole outfit, Hello Kitty. And by the way, he's wearing short, short jean shorts, and he's got a Hello Kitty tank top, tight. Hello you Kitty. You were just jealous because his tank top was looking a little better than yours. That's what it was. That's and what it was. you were going to find a way to shit on my tank top. Somehow. This is Italian. It's Italian. No, it's not. This is custom Italian tank top. Oh, no, that is, that's the one from this Nordstrom is, Rack. That's yes, a fancy tank top. Yes, this is fancy tank, tank top. The Nordstrom top. Rack tank top. Uh, it's made with silk uh, and uh, uh, koala bear pubic hair. It's made, it's fancy shit, bro. It's made with koala bear pubic hair. Um, and so Renee is on the bridge watching me and Garrett come in and she wants to take pictures. And of course, in front of me is the Hello Kitty guy. And by the way, the whole time I'm with Garrett, I'm like, look at this asshole. Like, what are you doing, guy, right? So I'm already thinking it, we pull out, he pulls up in front of us, Renee's right there, and Renee gives me these eyes like, what the fuck? Like, we lock eyes and we both are like, what the fuck? We didn't need to see our faces, we didn't need to see our smiles, our, our dick. But, both our eyes were like, hey, guy, did you see that shit? <laughs> and then after, afterwards, it was one of those moments where we didn't have seen anything. We were just both like, right, right, <laughs> what, what? Like, we didn't want to talk about it in front of Garrett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then you don't want to talk about it in front of your son, but we were just both like, hey, did you saw, you saw, okay, we saw, we saw, yeah, we're all, we're on the same page, yeah, that's why we're, that's why we're best friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was the craziest shit. But it was fun. The audiences in Orlando were great, and, and again, you know, we we had a. a and it was funny because it was a it was an Indian dude with a Latina chick, uh-huh. and they brought us. Uh, and I hate that I don't remember their names, but uh, they brought us a gift, and I was like, oh my god, bring them back here, and they they the uh, baby stuff. Yes. For our daughter, and I just had so much fun, you know, talking <clears throat> to them because. You know, the Indian guy, I go, oh, your parents are not happy with you. Because <laughs> uh, you didn't marry an Indian girl. And he's like, you have no idea the shit I go through uh, because I married a non-Indian girl. And, we, uh-huh. and, you know, because of what I know hanging out with Russell Peters and, you know, blah, blah. So we, yeah. were, we were just having a great conversation with them. And, and they're just really nice, great really people. Really sweet. And I, yeah. I just want to thank them for making that effort. Thank to, you so much. To bring us a gift. And the audience is were awesome and it was just a great show and 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 i hate to admit it and i'm going to admit it here and now but we're at 50 percent, as you know mm-hmm. and all the tables have to be socially distanced spread out right spread out yep and i gotta say man like it's it's kind of nice right it's kind of nice that everybody is comfortable they're not yeah. they're not you know there's not people on top of people yeah and it was just nice, and it, it just even though the laughter sounds different for you on stage, it doesn't. No. No, it, it feels it feels the same, if not better. And, yeah. And I think just because of the the times, I think that that everybody is is very stressed out right now. I think that everybody is wondering uh, in which direction our country is going, and I, and I think uh, with coronavirus, it has been definitely very taxing. Right. On everybody's uh, mental health. Oh, especially right yeah. now with kids going back to school. I just yeah, think I parents think are stressed. Adjusting, a figuring, lot of, figuring yeah. out who's going to, you know, if my son's not going to get to go back to school, how does that work for uh, a family that has to work uh, yeah. both, both couples? So, you know, I think that everybody's just in a, in a very tense state of mind. So, you know, when, when we were, when I was on, when, when I'm performing, you can tell that people just want to laugh, which makes me go, hey man, F you guys, I'm essential. Don't tell me that I'm not essential, right? We need laughter, we need entertainment. Yeah. You know, it's about quality of life and, and when they come, when people come to my show, you can really tell at the end that, that there's a moment of like, oh crap, it's over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's a moment of, it just kind of gets The escape sad. has come to an end. Right, it, it comes to like a little <laughs> sad zone E. Yeah. Because then I have to remind them, hey guys, I'm not doing meet and greet. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna. People say that about Disney too. That like it's well, there was no so big nice to yeah. be able to go to yeah. Disney for that escape just for a minute. You know. Yeah, but there wasn't the big parade. You know, they did do a little parade. 
which yeah. we were we were lucky enough to catch as soon as we walked out of random uh, kind of pop ups throughout the park. Yeah, little pop up uh, parades, and Garrett thought you know that was cool, but it wasn't like the big Disney yeah. production um, huge parade. But the experience of being there, riding the rides, um, walking through the shops, and and enjoying Disney. Just for us to be able, for me, for us to be able to travel again as a family. That was nice. You know? But I was, I was, I was worried that. that you weren't going to make it because all the walking. Yeah. At one point I made the joke, I said, do we need to get you a stroller? <laughs> we'll get you a stroller because, <laughs> you know, because look, again, if you're not feeling well, we're leaving. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure that you're yeah. feeling well. So I was surprised that you were able. The mask, the heat with the mask was. I find it interesting that at, at Disney, you're not feeling bad or queasy at all. But in your own bed, laying down while I'm going to a show. Hush your mouth. Oh, somebody's Hush queasy. No, I did go to Disney because that was the beginning. Universal, I was like well, sitting and, while most. I was finding air conditioning while you guys were. And we on also ride. kind of figured that because of um, the pregnancy, that we're probably not going to get to travel much uh, together for a while. I'm out of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of energy for you. <laughs> I love you with everything I got. You know I do. Uh, yes, you, I know. You, I love you, you too. You drive me. I have to. We got to wrap this up because I got to pee and I need more we're water. <laughs> I'm looking at the time and I'm like, God, man, every time we're like, what are we going to talk about? And then an hour later, I'm like, ah. Um, Your upcoming dates. You're going to San Angelo. You're going to do a drive in in Miami. No, no. San Angelo uh, is not. Oh, uh, sorry. Has already passed. Um, College Station, you're doing. Um, if people want to come out and see you I live. What else we have going on? But we have, we have some laugh. other dates. SteveTorino.com. And, and I have to ask you guys very, very sincerely. Things are going so well, but we definitely, what we're noticing is that, that we're, you know, we love you and we're happy that you keep watching. We need to grow. So the only way that we can grow is if you recommend our podcast, if you rate our podcast um another question that we're getting is share it share it but another question that we're getting is oh steve i usually listen to it on spotify our apple our apple our iheart radio why yeah. isn't it on there well we are working very hard um to get us back on there so stick around but we are on youtube and we are on our facebook, facebook yeah um and we do believe me we, we we try to read every comment and we, we appreciate all the love and support even the ones that say I look like a Muppet. Um, and, and, and <laughs> see, it still hurts her, dude. She, <laughs> somebody shit on my eyes and my way. They're like, Steve, you need to eat better and stop drinking so much. Your eyes look like shit. And I'm like, wow, okay. Maybe it's my allergies. But thank Maybe you for watching. Allergies. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Every single week, we, yeah. we love coming out here and hanging out. You know, Renee loves it because she gets to pick outfits out. But we love you guys. Thank you for the support and uh, stay safe.